first contract was signed on 5th of March 2014. Tuesday morning and the National Assembly Public Accounts Committee continued its probe on the alleged loss of 791 million shillings in the grand NYS scam. And appearing before the committee was Mutahi Nguni, alleged to be one of the architects of the scam. And from the onset, the vocal political analyst maintained his innocence. Is it true that uh, NYS party failed because they were not properly guided by the consultants? Is, is that true? The chief surgeon who restructured NYS and probably as per your blueprint, you are going to transform NYS. Do you think in your judgment, have they met your expectation? Did they meet my expectation? I think on a scale of 1 to 10, I give them a 2. And I deny them an eight because uh, there was no goodwill uh, internally. And uh, the, I think that the vision was also maybe a little too advanced. Of interest to the committee was the 12.5 million shillings paid to Nguni's firm, the consulting house, in the NYS fraudulent transactions. The client we had billed had not paid. And we were actually expecting a similar amount from them. Uh, and we discovered this money was from the Ministry of uh, Devolution. Nguni informed the committee he has since refunded the taxpayers' money, which is currently being held by the Central Bank of Kenya. When was this my money wired? The money was wired actually yesterday. But the committee was not about to let him off easy, querying how he failed to notice the money was in his bank account for 12 months. It took the auditors the Auditor General's office to alert you to the possibility that these were illicit funds. I find that extremely curious. As I've explained to you, we had billed another client. Same amount? Yeah. Uh, pretty much the same amount. The amount was pretty much the same. You know, as an accountant, I have difficulty with that. I mm. said either the amount is the same or it is not. He also denied knowing that his firm was single source to offer consultancy services to the NYS. The argument was actually that um, NYS is a paramilitary uh, agency and that also NYS, according to, the, to its act, is a reserve uh, for KDF. And as a result, even when I signed these contracts, I was forced to also sign a non-disclosure agreement regarding some of the documents